Silver is taking off. I repeat, Silver is finally making its move. Let's get into it. SD Bullion is giving away a monster box of 2024 Tree of Life Silver Coins. Sign up today at sdbullion.com slash sweepstakes. Thank you so much for watching. I do sincerely appreciate it. Silver is now over $27 an ounce. Wow, silver has been moving up at a very rapid pace over the last few days. It is now the highest it has been since June of 2021. Wow. I mean, we've been talking about this for quite some time. Typically, when we see gold take off, silver will follow. It's just a matter of time. And gold certainly is taking off. Gold is now sitting at $2,300.04. Gold continues to move up day after day. If we look at the one month chart for gold, I mean, look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Gold is not slowing down. Silver over the last month, similar move. This hasn't updated yet. It's going to show 27 in a moment. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, over this last week, silver has been surging like crazy. Check this out. So on April 1st, okay, just two days ago, silver was $25 an ounce, and today it's 27 What? Silver's gone up two bucks in two days? This is insanity. I mean, when silver moves, it can move extremely fast. So this is not unprecedented, but my goodness, I did not expect silver would take off this early. Honestly, I thought we would have to wait a few weeks, a few months, maybe get closer to those rate cuts. But no, it looks like silver is making its move and this could be the start of something big i mean this could be just the beginning here silver has a lot of room to go to catch up to gold i mean gold is sitting at an all-time high let's back up to one month here and you know what with these moves today in both gold and silver i'm gonna bet the gsr is coming down yeah look at this gold silver ratio coming down very sharply this means silver is moving so much faster than gold silver becoming more valuable as compared to gold right so on april 1st it was around 90 ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold today less than 85 ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold i mean that's what we're looking at when we see the gsr it's coming down very sharply which means silver is making that big move it is taking off this is breaking news if you've been buying precious metals for a month for a year for a decade this could be the big move that we've been waiting for i mean with gold at an all-time high it does not seem that crazy that silver would move much closer to its all-time high which is around 50 dollars an ounce but if you adjust for inflation check this out february 1980 silver hit 142 dollars an ounce if you adjust for inflation of course the nominal high was around 50 dollars an ounce which is still much higher than where silver is at today but inflation adjusted 142 dollars an ounce that's pretty crazy. I mean, silver's got a long way to go to reach those heights, but this could be the beginning of that move with everything going on with the dollar and the Fed potentially cutting rates. I mean, I think this big move today has to do with Powell talking about rate cuts. I mean, he spoke today. Looks like they're still on the table. So that's really bullish for precious metals. If we go over to the CME group Fed Watch tool, we can see for June, they're still predicting the first rate cut will happen in June. 37.5% chance that there's no rate cut, over 60% chance that rates will start coming down so june is not that far off i mean we're in april we only got two months to go to get there so usually the precious metals will start moving in anticipation 
of the rate cuts. That's certainly what I think we're seeing with gold. Silver now finally starting to play catch up. A lot of us have been talking about this for a very long time, and I'm really excited because I think this could be the moment we've all been waiting for, where silver finally starts to shine finally starts to show its true colors and just blow us away. It's interesting because Jerome Powell was kind of wishy-washy when he was talking about the rate cuts today. He was saying, well, we still have time to deliberate. I mean, look at the headline here. Feds Powell repeats, there is time to deliberate over rate cuts. So they're not sure. I mean, it's still on the table, obviously. He didn't say we're not cutting rates. But even with news like this, we still see metals take off. How much you want to bet the dollar's going down today? Yeah, check this out. I haven't even looked at the USDX today. I literally just pulled it up as I'm making this video, and the dollar is getting crushed. This is exactly what I would expect the dollar to be doing when silver is soaring, because basically silver and the dollar are opposites. When we see silver absolutely skyrocketing, the dollar is probably getting crushed. Now the dollar is still fairly high, all things considered. Let's go year to date. I mean, the dollar has been much lower than it is right now. If we go to five years, look how low the dollar was back in 2021. This right here is the last time we saw silver hit $27 an ounce. The dollar was getting crushed. I mean, the USDX, the dollar index was below 90 when silver was at 27. Now the USDX is at 104 and silver is at 27. Think about how much the dollar has to go down just to meet where it was at back in 2021. And silver is at the same place right now. Now, so if silver continues to move up from here as the dollar moves down, I mean, this could be really sensational. Now, let's come back down to earth, okay? I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I don't know what's going to happen to silver tomorrow or the next day or the next week. I mean, looking at the big picture, looking at everything, I'm guessing we're probably going to see some type of a pullback, some type of a correction at some point. I don't know if that's at $27, $29, $32. I don't no, but for now, silver is on a tear. It's moved up two bucks in two days. That's one of the biggest moves we've seen in silver since COVID. I mean, this is really, really big. And honestly, this is really big news for gold as well. Gold has eclipsed $2,300 an ounce. That's pretty crazy. I mean, I made a video yesterday and I posted it today. I'm doing a double video today because this is just so crazy. I never post two videos in one day. I think I've actually never done that before on my channel. I'd have to go back and look, but I think this is unprecedented. I think this is the first time I've ever done a double release, but how could I not make a video with all of this going on? Gold is at $2,300 an ounce. In my video yesterday, I said, man, gold is is exploding it's possible it could hit 2300 by the end of the week we're still midweek we still have a few days to go and gold is already at 2300 it's moving up faster than i thought it would silver i had no idea was going to take off like it's taking off right now i mean this is usually how things go gold goes and then silver goes sometime after I think we're finally seeing that come into fruition. By the way, my other video that I posted today, the video over at Harry's Coin Shop, we have a quarter ounce gold giveaway going on in that video. So you're not gonna wanna miss it. There's a link in the description of this video as well as a link here, uh, one of the end screen cards you can click on. Go watch that video, leave a comment, make sure you enter the quarter ounce gold giveaway. So there you go. Maybe you could win some free gold while all of this is happening. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons out.